having a cinema room within the house has been nice. As a family, we love cinema. We'll invite our friends over, and the cinema room tends to be a good chill-out spot. Snacks are ready, guys. Thanks, Indy. OK, so in the current setup of the cinema room, we've got the projector, which is just here. We've got a 7.2 surround system. We've got the screen over there. I guess it takes it to the next level. We're looking for a 4K projector, because when you're watching on this sort of size, you can really appreciate the increased resolution. Not a Once the movie has started, Jazz is not satisfied unless he's played about with the settings. So anything to stop that from happening would definitely help. Your home cinema setup is probably the best I've ever seen. I mean, it's a genuine cinema in your house. Why is the projector not quite up to scratch, though? It's just old. That's pretty much what it is. It's a, it's not 4K. That's why, basically. OK, so we need to improve the quality of your projector. We had a little look around, and that's why we landed on this. This is the XG Me Aura projector. Now, the reason why we wanted to give you this is that, firstly, it has that all-important 4K resolution. But it's also a ultra-short throw projector, which means it can just be a couple of inches from your wall and it can project an image up to 150 inches. So, we sent you this projector to road test for a week, didn't we? Yes, you did. Shall we see how you got on? Yeah. On this very projector. This is massive. Wow. How <laughs> big this is, man? God. So, first thoughts was it's quite hefty, quite heavy. Oh, my God, it's so big. When I opened the box and read the label, I was like, OK, this is clearly a good projector. It's 4K, it's ultra short throw. Oh, that looks nice and that slick. That's very nice, isn't yes. it? Yes. I'd say it's quite minimalistic. It's not overpowering. Even the remote was quite slick as well. I like the fact that it had a speaker on it. Not something I've ever seen. So this is very cool, guys. Very cool. Let's try it out. Absolutely. Let's get the power cable in. The light's coming up. Voila. Nice. A light. Come on, give me an image. Give me an image. Oi! Oh, nice. So the interface came on, and then the only thing you had to do then was connect to the internet. What's also interesting, Shane, is you can clearly see it, even though the um, light's still on here. Wow. The remote is very slick. It's small. It fits in the palm of your hand. It's not overcomplicated. The setup seems OK at the moment. Seems very similar to basically a TV. And once we get this to fill out the full screen, wow, that's going to be magic. Mm -hmm. One of the things that did come across to me on the manual was that it was suitable for like a 150-inch screen as the maximum. And that's when I was like, OK, cool, let's go and see whether it can be expanded. Yeah, so image correction, image mode. Yeah, that's actually already on maximum zoom. One thing we did try is bringing the projector back, so away from the screen on a little table. Originally, it was in this position here. We moved it back. So if you moved it away from the screen, it would increase the image size, but then it was overshooting, so it was shooting off the screen and upwards with a big kind of gap in the bottom. If we could go directly down into the cabinet, which unfortunately we can't because it's basically a middle speaker which sits right there and you can't remove that. And in that position, it would shoot up and probably fill most of the screen. The first thing we did is basically put a 4K film on. So we went on to Netflix and had a look at um, Our Planet. It's just crisp, isn't it? How clear it is. So the picture quality is excellent. Cannot fault the picture quality. It says it's 4K in the box. Definitely is 4K. This is awesome. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I was very happy with the picture quality. So gaming on the projector also holds up. So I played Tekken, which is a fighting game. It's very smooth. It definitely provides a more immersive experience. How is it compared to what we were using before? Jeremy? From a gaming perspective, very, very good. The sound from the soundbar was very good. It wasn't dull and flat, it was sharp and crisp. So if this were used in a room which didn't have a professional sound system, this would definitely suffice. So the projector itself had a bunch of whole native apps. So it's an Android-based system. So Netflix Prime, YouTube were on there. There were options to download the other ones, BBC iPlayer, Disney. Overall, very happy with this product. Having that experience of 4K, it would be quite sad to go back to Full HD. Never good downgrading, is it? <laughs> you look like you had a really good time with that. Yeah, it was a really fun week. Which content worked best? So things that were just shot in native 4K. So Glass Onion, for example, we watched on the Netflix original. Awesome, right? So it comes with a speaker built in. Mm. How did you find that speaker quality? As a standalone speaker, excellent. For the size it is, it's very, very good. OK, it is £1,889. That's not bad. It's come, so again, just to give you context, when we looked at 4K projectors back then, 
entry level 5, 6G, easy. Okay. So that's good value, very good value for money. I guess the question is, based on your week, watching movies on it, would you buy one? If it had the ability to be optimally set up and to fill the whole screen, uh, yes. But for your home cinema setup, it doesn't quite do that. It didn't quite fill the 200-inch okay. screen. You've got yeah. that big screen and mm -hmm. you want to fill it. Yeah. I, I understand that. So, despite offering good value, our top-quality projector didn't quite hit the mark for the Mavis. 